Hey Rich, it's Jeff Loeb, and I'm just calling to wish you a hundred hip hip hoorays on an amazing achievement. More stories, more hip. Keep telling them. Congratulations. Elephant man, 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 elephant man,
who'd have thought it, eh? You know, starting here in this lovely little tome, going forward to oh, massive trade paperbacks like this with lovely covers by Boo Cook, it has to be said. So, um, yeah, just uh, well done. And uh, I can't wait to, uh, to read the next hundred issues coming. And uh, like uh, Barkman Turner Overdrive might have said, mate, you ain't seen nothing yet. Hey Richard, congratulations on issue 100 of Elephant Man. I cannot emphasize what a huge deal that is. Not that you will already know, but it to have such an incredibly well thought out, well written, and well done series. It, especially in today's age where it's so easy, everyone's trying to go for the quick cash grab, is such a testament to you and your honor and your ethics and how much you care about putting forward not just a great story, but an important story. And it is truly an honor of mine that I was able to be just a small part of it, but still incredibly appreciated and to be part of something that you have crafted to such a wonderful story. They'll have such a wonderful legacy as well. Cannot be understated. And you just, you yourself with your humility, your energy, your dynamic, your fun, most amazing stories throughout the whole um, history of modern comicdom with your subtle nuance. It's just an amazing and utter, um, impossibly wonderful thing. Thank you for, and not in an ironic way, for you being you, for being such a wonderful person. And sorry about that really sweaty hug I gave you up at Emerald City a couple of years ago. I was really happy to see you, and I'd forgotten I was lugging all that luggage all around Seattle before getting there, so I do apologize. And again, congratulations on such a wonderful milestone for such an amazing and le um, legacy property. A hundred issues of Elephant Man. Who'd have thought? I think perhaps Richard Starkings did. Maybe he's over there. I'm John Rochelle, AKA JG, and I have worked with Rich for 27 years before Comic Craft even was Comic Craft. And though I didn't know it at the time because I was just trying to make enough cash to rent an apartment with my girlfriend, I'm pretty sure Rich had a clear idea even then of what he wanted to achieve and at least a vague idea of how he was going to get there. And since then, I have had a front row seat to watch him gradually and relentlessly chase that dream of being a comic book creator. Rich, you have gotten to write some crazy stories and I have gotten to do some crazy designs for them. From snow to ice, to yes, that is pig's blood. No ketchup for us, man. Working on Elephant Man has been a ton of fun and getting to see your work ethic and your work ethics in action has been a big influence on me as a creator. So 100 issues, man, that is a fantastic, amazing, spectacular, incredible accomplishment. So what are we doing for the next 100? Hey Rich, just want to say congratulations on reaching 100 issues of Elephant Man. Um, I think anyone flipping through one of these tomes would be incredibly impressed by the, the standard of art and writing. And to sustain that for 100 issues is really quite remarkable. Um, I also wanted to thank you for basically changing my life. You've been supporting me since way back uh, the start of my career by giving me inking work at Marvel UK on things like this. Yay, Sleaze Brothers, Bagged and Borders and everything. Um, you also, of course, published Strange Embrace, which launched my career in the USA. And you also commissioned me to write and draw an issue of Elephant Men, which was actually the last comic I've ever drawn. Uh, and I want to apologize again for missing the deadline by, um, I think it was two years. No one's perfect, right? So, uh, <laughs> congratulations again. Enjoy your party. And thanks for all the elephant pen.